Okay, this is Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 41, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. And looks like we are in Atom 1A. Okay, Atom 1A is the uh, um, main uh, header file. Um... We are, uh, <clears throat> we're right in the middle on, uh, a topic heap control. Okay, so let me explain, uh, Atom 1A is located in the kernel directory, along with Atom 1B and 1C, um, when, uh, when it boots, it starts in uh, kernel start, it goes to kernel end. In kernel end, the atom task uh, executes atom one. Atom one is the C++ file, and it includes the headers atom 1A, 1B, and 1C. <coughs> so it starts, starts compiling atom one and that includes 1A, 1B, and 1C. So, uh, um, inside Atom 1A, we have the uh, pound defines and uh, class definitions. In, uh, in 1B, we have the uh, as assembly uh, function headers so for all for all the assembly routines we have function headers and the internal uh, built-in functions in 1c we have the externs for uh, all the C functions in uh, there, there are There are a hundred thousand lines of code in the kernel, or not the kernel, the uh, operating system. Um, the kernel has twenty-four thousand lines. The compiler has twenty thousand lines, and then the remainder of the kernel is, uh, or the remainder of the operating system is Atom, is in the Atom directory. So uh, there are two modules that are compiled ahead of time kernel.bin and compiler.bin and uh, the, uh, the so those binaries need uh, headers and uh, Atom 1A is uh, this is doesn't have any code these headers don't have code uh, Atom 1A is the uh, structures and um, some some of the definitions, some 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 of the uh, integer constants and stuff. Anyway, I use define for uh, I don't use enum. I don't use so uh, all the defines are uh, for flags and for uh, types and stuff. Anyway, uh, so. <coughs> When you com when you compile the kernel, the kernel includes Atom 1A, but it does not include 1B and 1C because the or no it includes 1B, but not 1C. Um, 1C is for the externs, and those are um, when when you boot. Um, you have the atom task, which is the father of all tasks, and uh, ch child tasks inherit symbols of parents. So uh, if we do a who minus r, this is environment variables. Now we have it. Uh, now if we uh, um, if we make a function, we 
Now we say who. We have a function in a global variable. Now if you say uh, who plus r, this is recursive. This will include all our local symbols and our parent symbols. And everybody's parent is Adam. And Adam, Adam processes those header files and it includes other code. So all those symbols are in Adam's table. Um, all the header file symbols. So all the so you never need to you never need to do include you never need to include headers. If you want to make something you can just uh you can just uh execute it immediately. Um anyway you don't need header files because uh, you're, if you run a task, it it has the uh, symbols of its parents parent direct, parent tasks, and uh, all tasks have Adam as a parent. 